a little bit too of you mentioned uh, or you, you you made your millions through Hex and it sounded like you're living off the interest then because you got so many stakes so laddered out. Like, how, can you just walk us through like your strategy yeah. and how you're, uh, you know, doing that? Yeah, sure. Um, so I'm living off of quarterly stakes. So for right now in full transparency, um, interest and principal, but the quarterly stakes, it's about 250,000 Hex plus interest. Uh, so roughly with big payday interest and with accrued interest, somewhere around 450,000 Hex. Uh, but it's only every three months. Every th- I'm 100% staked. Uh, with average stake length at 11 years, the majority of the money is staked for year 10, for 2030, and then also uh, a lot of money staked for 2036. Uh, so I, I first, when I first got into Hex, like, um, like I, I was, man, I was creating 10 year stakes at on day one. Uh, I was actually at first, I didn't on day one, I didn't know what I was doing. So I did like one year, one year, two year, three year, five year, 10. Um, and then I think I might've even done like a max stake length. Um, but then, like as, as time went along, I wanted to maximize T shares, so I did. I did all like every time I bought because I was buying with like every paycheck, every two weeks I was buying with every bonus, with every stimulus check. Um, I would buy and just stake for ten years because I wanted that three X T shares, right? Mm-hmm. You're basically paying third of a cost for the T share. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to like basically pay my future self and set myself up down the road because you you need to hold. An asset in crypto that's good, you need to hold for at least 10 years or more. Um, mm-hmm. as, but as the time went along, I realized that 5555s five, 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 five were insanely intelligent because you maximize uh, USD price appreciation because that's the longest possible time that you could stake HEX for, 15.2 years. Um, and uh, <laughs> nice. Nice. Um, so you're maximizing USD price appreciation for the asset. But here's what a lot of people fail to think about. You're getting interest for 5,555 consecutive days. But the interest Mm. that you're getting is not in a stable coin. It's not USDC. You're getting the asset itself. So for example, if you're earning today, let's say you earn $100 $100 in interest for all your cumulative stakes today. Like every day you earn $100 in interest. Hmm. $100 today at Hex's current price. But if Hex goes up 10X, that's no longer $100 for a 15.2 year stake. It's $1,000 and you never spent it because you can't spend the money because it's locked up in a stake. And mm-hmm. if it goes another 10X, that's $10,000 per day. And another 10X, that's $100,000 per day. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So the point is, is that this is crazy. The interest itself is capturing all the USD price appreciation for the longest possible period of time. That yeah. is fucking amazing. So that's mm-hmm. why I started doing all these like five, 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 five day stakes. And I, will, I learned a lot of stuff from Kareem, from uh, like just other players in the network that were just really pushing this. Uh, Motley Investor or some of these other guys that are just really strong hexagons. Um, now, um, after creating those stakes, I realized like, man, I really want to retire. I don't want to be working as a wind turbine technician, putting my life on the line every day at 300 feet, working in like towers that are like 13 years old hmm. uh, with just really fucked up dangerous conditions where you could die from hydraulic energy or mechanical energy or electrical energy. Um, like you could dro- die from fucking dropped objects that just fall. Like if you drop a wrench 300 feet and you're down below, guess what? I could probably crack your hard hat and kill you. Um, yeah. so I just, um, I didn't want to do that. Like that was for me just a, a means to an end, right? The only reason for doing that was to create extra revenue that was beyond like the revenue I needed to pay for my monthly bills and just survive. Mm-hmm. And I was able to play with that money and invest that into hex. Like, I don't think people should ever invest money that that's dedicated for rent or food or clothing or for the families. I think that's pure gambling and you might as well go to the casino, throw down black 19 or red 19 or red seven or whatever on the roulette table, because it's the same fucking thing. Like it's very dangerous to do that. Um, So anyway, what I decided to do, I actually took a, (laughs) I took a week off of work. I was like, guys, I need a, I need a break. I got a lot that I'm trying to work through. I'm not working safe. I just need a break for a few days. Mm -hmm. So I I was living in a house in Texas at the times, like three bedroom house, 
uh, two and a half baths, paying fifteen hundred dollars a month for a nice like place. Like because Texas is like cheap, right? So the yeah. cost of living is really low. Um, but I was just like pacing the house for multiple days, thinking, okay, how, what kind of strategy can I develop so that I could actually retire from Hex, hmm. survive even if Hex crashes hard, um, and have freedom of my time so that I can just literally just live life and enjoy it and then just help people for free. Hmm. By the way, I'm more busy being retired than when I was working. <laughs> I, I sleep I live a lot of nights. I yeah. sleep like hours a night because so many. Are you really retired? Because I think uh, yeah, there's yeah. a good quote from uh, Naval yeah. Ravikant, another person I followed. It's, he says, uh, retirement is when you stop sacrificing today for an imaginary tomorrow. Doesn't sound like you stopped sacrificing, Gunther. <laughs> no, I'm, I think I've actually, I've actually increased like the workload. There's just yeah. so many people that need help and want help and they see the success story. And so that's kind of one of the reasons why I've recently come out and, and I'm more public on Twitter because I think I can, I think I can influence people in a positive way. And I think uh, <laughs> black 19, red center, <laughs> Hey, go, but maybe throw it out a hundred dollars at the roulette table. Don't go crazy though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, so I, I, de I decided uh, in developing that strategy, I took whatever liquid hex I had at the time because not everything was like fully staked and I divided it up so that I could have an equal amount of hex uh, per quarter for 10 consecutive years so that I could survive mm. off of those quarterly stakes. And it turns out I chose uh, 250,000 uh, principal hex to stake for the quarterly amounts or for every wow. quarter for 10 years. Uh, because my, my rationale to that was, well, if Hex could get to 10 cents and stay above it, that's not a bad life. That's uh, when you when you start to consider interest and all that, you're talking about 450,000 tokens per quarter. So at 10 cents, that's $45,000 for three months of living. That's $15,000 a month. That's not a bad life, even if you yeah. live in an expensive like, zone or region of the world. Yeah. Um, but then think about what if hex gets to a dollar and stabilizes at a dollar uh that's four hundred fifty thousand dollars for every quarter i mean if you can't live off that i mean come on I, at that point you just, i don't know man silicon <laughs> valley san francisco i don't know that's uh i don't think you can do that anymore yeah or unless you have like maybe some like mega million property and it just you really need a lot of money in order to sustain those landscapers aren't cheap for mega yeah. million properties i've heard and you got to pay everyone to like clean the house and cook and all that stuff, you know. So right. Right. Uh, anyway, that was my thinking. And, and, and then to help me transition, and this might be helpful to other people that are thinking of, that maybe want to do something like this. Um, I also created monthly stakes for 12 months. I had like, I think I had like 6 million hex and I divided it up into 12 equal parts uh, just for 12 months to help me transition from full-time blue collar employee to retirement just in case the price of hex got wrecked and got fucked up yeah. turns out it, it crashed it crashed on big payday and went down like 90 percent almost it was like two cents remember that yeah i mean it was it was painful because like i had i had already entered into retirement and then the price, and then the price crashed like 90 percent. but i was living in texas and i had a plan like a fail safe basically so i sort of just like lived in, in a full transparency and full disclosure, I sold that hex for those 12 months to live off of that so that I could gain freedom of my time. Well, the, uh, the price ended up performing pretty well, went to 51 cents and, you know, was severe bear market right now, severe crash. But 